Good God morning. <laughs> so glad to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Let's go ahead and give God praise. Amen. Yeah. We got so much to be thankful for. As soon as I woke up this morning, the first thing that hit my mind, I was like, wow, it's the last day of 2023. We should already go ahead and rejoice and praise God alone that we got to see another year. He could come back at any moment during this service, anything throughout the day, no matter what, he could come back today. But regardless, we still got to see today. That's three, another 365 days. That's another year. We got to just live, be alive for him and to come into his house. And what better day to do it going into the next year, if God willing. Amen. Because again, like I was just telling Brother Danny a while ago, Matthew 25 verse 6 says, At midnight a cry was made. Whew. The bridegroom comes, go out to meet him. Wouldn't that be something at this time? We just don't even know it. Everybody's focus could be on the new year. And it could be that very moment when he decides to come back. When nobody's thinking about him, that'd be the moment. I couldn't help but think about that. And again, God began to share. I don't know if y'all remember at the beginning of last year. Going into it, I stood right here. And we begin to talk about and share going into 2023. And the numbers, you know, I'm a numbers fanatic. Two plus two plus three, seven. And we talked about how we needed to give, see the seven is the number of completion, that we got to give God completely everything. And right in the middle of the zero, no limitations, no exceptions, no distractions, two fish, five loaves of bread, give God everything completely. And I began to, God began to share and just help me remember this coming in this morning because at that moment I remember so many started out here. They started the year in God's house. They started out giving completely everything. But now here it is. They can't even finish how they started. So many are absent from the house of God. Here we are going. We're finishing this year. So many started in his house and now they can't even finish in his house. And now here we are, 2024. You want to have some fun with some more numbers? 2024, we're going into 2024. Two plus two plus four is eight. And God led me straight to Matthew 8, yeah. verses 8, where there was a centurion, a centurion man who had, as Jesus even said, great faith. Great. You know, you know what rhymes with eight? Great. Yeah. We got to have a great faith year in 2024, amen? Because here's the thing about this century man that he did. He had his servant was sick and he wanted Jesus to heal him. And Jesus told him, I will come and heal him. But he told Jesus, he said, I am not worthy enough. Speak the word only and it will happen. See, that's the kind of faith we got to have going into 2024, church. We got to have that speak the word only. So many in today's day and time, all they care about is a hand from somebody, a word from just somebody, instead of the words from the one and only God. We got to go into next year. Last year was about giving him everything, completely having everything. Some didn't do it. Some can't even finish out the year here for him completely. And now here we go, stepping into a new year. Because again, here's some more eights. Luke 18 verses 8 said, When the Son of Man comes, shall he find faith on earth? Amen. Amen. Will he find faith on earth? Will he find faith in each and every one of us? But we got to have that great faith going into 2024. That great faith where God is just speak the word alone. Speak the word we got to have that faith where we are hungry and thirsty for the Word of God. I don't care if i got to have a touch from somebody. or I, I believe a, a God alone, He ain't got to sit there and touch me every time. Yeah. i got faith alone just in His Word. word. Yeah. Why? Because John 1.1, 1, 1, He is His Word. Yes, he is. Yes. Amen. we got to have faith to just simply tell God, God, I'm here for Your yes. Word. Speak the Word 
alone. Yes. Speak your word only and it will happen. Yes. Amen. That's that great faith we got to have going into 2024. Again, like I said in Matthew 25, it can be tonight. Amen. When everybody's focus is on a new year. Man, you can't boast yourself in tomorrow. I hear people all the time talking about, see you next year. I said, you don't know that. Don't boast in tomorrow. You don't know what a day will bring. And then everybody wants to talk about New Year's resolution. What's my New Year's resolution? Man, we don't need New Year resolutions. Yeah, like Pastor just said, we need a New Year revolution. That's what we need. Simply lives completely turning to God, living for God, but having that great faith where it's God's word that we're hungry for. We're coming for God's Amen. word and we're spreading his word. Amen. Miracles can still happen. Amen. All this stuff that we simply think, oh, that was just in the past, all that, they can still happen. But we got to have the great faith going into 2024. 2024 is going to be full of great faith, great disciples. I had somebody just the other day, too, talking about how many followers and how many people they had. And, you know, it's just, it's just one of those things. And I just spoke up and I said, you know, God, Jesus himself had many followers. They followed him everywhere. But usually it's for his hands, for his touch. And that's why it just surprised Jesus so much when this centurion man sat there and said, just speak the word alone. And Jesus is like, man, he was completely marveled and was like, I haven't seen such great faith. Amen. The fact that he knew who God was and he believed in him enough to say, it's just your word. Just your word. Speak yeah. your word and it'll happen. Amen. That's why, and I told him, I said, yeah, Jesus had many followers just for that reason. I said, but at the end of the day, he only had 12 disciples. That's right. And even further, he only had one go all the way to the cross. Right. Come on. Again, we got to be that one. Praise God. Yeah. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, this year, 2024, I'm going to be the one. I'm going to be the one. It's time we step up and have that great faith yeah. to start that New Year's revolution. Amen. Amen. To Jesus be the glory.